What's up, y'all? Oh, my Lord. I just got uh, that G111 back together and started. And wow. There's a... And when you walk right out my carport on the right, there's a bank. And there's an iris bed there on the bank. There's all kinds of little maple sprouts come up in it every year. Well, I hadn't cut them for a long time. They were getting kind of big. So I had that G111 fired up. I'm like, man, I'm going to just grab a hold of those and reach in there and cut them. Oh, my God. Freaking yellow jackets nest in there. That stung there. Three times on the wrist. Two times on the thumb. One here on my eyelash or eyebrow, not my eyelash, my eyebrow. And one got me kind of right in there through my shirt. Ah, I mean, they come right about chainsaw right. I was right on top of their hole. Come right up my arm. They're gonna have a bad time here after a while. What to say? So we're gonna work through the pain. This 357 XP number two. This one is for you, Chad. This saw was was built by uh, Saws Hot Hogs are Shot down in Texas. Uh, it was like a bring back to life kind of deal. But everything is good on it. All OEM too. I have not started it. He said it run great. I know the decomp is leaking like crazy, but <clears throat> but yeah, it's a pretty good looking saw. This is the one I had posted for sale. Well, guy bought it, you know, he's like, yeah, I want it. Okay. I was like, uh, he called me. And uh, on my phone, it come up as Washington, like Washington State. I was like, oh, yeah, Washington? He's like, actually, I live in Alaska. <laughs> This baby's going to Alaska. Alright, let's switch back over to four millimeter here. But yeah, this is a good looking saw. It's uh ain't nothing wrong with this. tear it down. Do some machine work. Yeah, this has got the wonderful baffle in it. We'll have to cut that out.
Oh no. He's an overseas guy too. He's got the gnarly gray stuff. This is moto sealed down. Yeah, still got a tag on it. I mean, the price just for the saw alone was a heck of a deal. Heck of a deal. I got a 346 over there he built that I sold for him too. It never even made it to the YouTube channel. I knew a guy that was looking for one of those. Now this one, I don't know, I think it's that dang decomp's leaking. I stick another one in there. Now this one's had the this one had the automatic decompression in it, and it's plugged with a tube. And what I want to do is pull that out of there and epoxy a screw and all a self tapper right in it plug that port up totally that hole yeah we don't want we don't want any failures right there see it right there originally it looks like this this goes, this little thing goes right into the port of the cell, of the transfer, and this screws right in where your decompression valve does, and it's, it's automatic. And they were problematic. <laughs> Not a good idea, Husky. But we're gonna fix that. When we get the cylinder off. I have a 357 cylinder over there set that that this came off of that I need to plug too so what is wearing the wires like melted not like heat melted, like just old melted. New fuel line, rebuilt carb. He, he did everything right when he put it together. The old style vent in it. No matter.
on the power there. Keep it stuck in there. Alright, let's unbolt this cylinder. Good cylinder. Stuffers and all, boy. They put all new goodies on here, new boot. All the upgraded goodies. So, See, there's the the automatic decomp, which was this thing. Which went in there like that and hooked into the transfer. I don't know why. These soles really don't even need a decomp. People, people soft these days, putting decomps in these tiny saws. So I'm just going to loosen that. I'm just going to pull it out of there. Because we don't want that. At all. We're going to, I'm just going to find a self tapper, smear a little epoxy over it, run a self tapper in there, be done with it. It's a good cylinder, really good looking cylinder. <sighs> That's that boys. 357 number two, tore down. All right y'all, 
Later.